Shalom everyone, it's Shannon and I'm just jumping in here to do a general reading. So if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Sorry about my lighting. Um, I'm fixing to put the phone down on the table anyway. So um, <laughs> anyway, I don't get on this channel very often and um, I just uh, felt led to do a reading. So um, happy birthday if it's your birthday happy anniversary and all that kind of stuff um today is the 19th of august and i was just doing a face-to-face -face on my other uh channel I was talking about how the the 19 is the sun card and um that's also in the hebrew it is a government overthrow and so uh it's the sun you know goes in all of our signs and it's uh, considered the most positive card of the deck and stuff like that so i'm actually feeling really good energy today for a change is really nice if you are new I feel energy and sometimes I get really really bold because of the energy that the divine uses through me to express and I'm never um, uh, in my mind pointed it at anything or anyone except for wicked energies okay so just to keep that in mind so don't ever get offended um, I hope it doesn't ever make anybody offended it's uh, you should just I don't know how to explain what I feel when I'm feeling it and sometimes it, it just is uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's really heavy energy, okay? But anyway, those of you who have stuck with me, I appreciate you all, and you've learned who I am, and I appreciate uh, you seeing me through my ups and downs, my ins, my outs, uh, my good moments, my bad moments, all of it, and um, that that's what we're here for. We, we should just, you know, be encouragement. It's, you know, a true friend will stick close to you. Uh, and uh, the divine is closer than a brother and sticks close to us. And he's always merciful. And when we fall down and we've made really bad mistakes, he says, I still love you. Get up, get up, get up kind of energy. So um, anyway, so let's let the sun overturn some things for you and I today and get up again and start marching along our way and get that victory. Okay. So let's see what the divine actually wants to bring out here. Uh, if you are new, I could come across really religious, but I'm really not. All right. I am very spiritual though. And I do use my living uh, lineage language of the Hebrew and I do use scripture uh, and it's real talk also on my channels. The divine brings real life things that are going on in this realm and we attack them okay i get a lot of legal stuff that come over my channel as well because the, the divine is uh, again setting up his kingdom his government in the land and um so just to let you know there could be some really really hard things come out on some of these videos but it is what it is i mean i'm not here just to you know uh, do kissy kissy lovey dovey uh, readings and sometimes I do not very very much uh, because I'm called to do other things and that's beautiful that energy is absolutely beautiful but I I'm just letting you know that a lot of times I just get I got a lot of lost stuff that comes on my channel so it is what it is anyway uh, so welcome if you stay if you hadn't already clicked off let's go ahead and see what the divine wants to say to us today this reading so I want to let you know if that candle goes out at any given time in this reading, it's been going for quite some time. And I, I'm definitely not superstitious, but I'm sure I'm speaking to all kinds of different people who have their own different beliefs and all kinds of stuff, okay? Uh, if it's hitting you in a certain way, because I don't put the divine in a box either. Um, but if something does, if it does go out in any of this, uh, in a reading at any time, it might be significant for what's being said at the time. Okay, so that's just up to you. I just want to let you know because I know that there are people that, that are really like that. And that's fine. If you're that way, I'm not. I'm just not superstitious. But um, I'm just addressing it because it's come to my spirit. So let's ask uh, Jehovah what he wants to bring out here for us. I thank you, Divine. You're so precious to me. Uh, I thank you that at your rebuke, Jehovah, that you rebuke all dry, negative, dark entities and forces and witchcraft and familiar spirits and occult uh, of any dark uh, kind that exists. I thank you that you have the power and uh, you chase it away and you put them in the pit forever to stay. And I just ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. I thank you for Yeshua, who you are our salvation and you are our testimony. And I thank you that you do prophesy uh, through your sons and your daughters for such a time as this. I thank you for um, prophecy taking place and that you go before us and you prepare the way. And you make every crooked place straight. You give us 
divine grace and help us get up and, and all, all those things. I just thank you for and I acknowledge you here. What do you want to bring out here? What is the, uh, give me about three cards or whatever you see fit for the energy in the right now moment for those who have clicked upon this message here. And thank you, divine. I just heard nothing's impossible with me. Is what the divine said. Absolutely, that's that's beautiful. That gives us hope. There's stubbornness here, and that is as a sin of witchcraft. Okay, and uh, we just rebuke that. You know, hope will rebuke you. I command for the truth to come to the surface, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, right here, right now. So we have something that's been going on for a long time. Something this real slow moving. Um, energy real methodical real you know earth is slow it takes time um it is time it's gonna be something very physical somebody's just been dealing with for a long time um maybe at your job this is about rely being reliable this is actually the night that you want you want to check details and you learn along the way uh, maybe you're dealing with somebody who wasn't that way but when i see this card in the deck this is telling me that something's finally here okay so and that's how I read that because that's how it makes me feel when I see it. And it's taking a long time and you're still growing. You still got more time ahead of you. Uh, and then you go up to queenship and kingship and whatever it is. Male or female really doesn't matter. Uh, just looking at the levels of how we grow and expand and stuff like that. You might be dealing with somebody a little younger than you if you are already maybe at the top of your game just for age reference sake. Um, 35, 25 to, I push this to 40 sometimes, uh, don't have to be, but you might be dealing with somebody around that age, um, it could be a boss, or that you are the employee, or you're a child, or you're older person who has children, anyways, just hit me that way, okay, so there's the mother energy, all right, so, and this, or grandparent, the empress represents somebody who's got all four queens, okay, she's an empress, uh, this is somebody's at the real top of their game. They're very mature. Um, this is somebody who uh, has the law within her. She's always she's a producer. She's you know full of projects. And if this is who you are, and the divine says, "I say you're this," but you're here right now. You've got a lot to grow. At the same time, you're this prosperous energy. And some people are dealing with family situations and uh, things like that and work situations and legal situations. Like I said, she's got the legal skills. Um, the justice skills are found within her. She's very generous. She's very beautiful inside and out. And uh, her counterpart is a warrior. And so she also has that uh, warrior energy within her. Okay. And so this is very prosperous energy. Uh, and let's look at the, this is the number third card. And so the third Hebraic letter is the Gimel, which is being rich and generous and she would definitely uh, represent being rich and generous energy so um, some people are having babies as well or grandbabies congratulations it's finally here maybe wait a long time for uh, one of your children to have to have a baby maybe you are um, going to get pregnant in an older age or begin to produce something within your older age this is prosperous energy here and some beautiful energy finally arriving for somebody so somebody be in their head in their bed about some type of judgment okay that needs to be made or you know is known or needs to be known or will be known okay something's arriving here um this heart energy Especially if you are dealing with legal stuff because she does represent somebody again that has legal uh, energies within her and uh, She also would represent something or someone that is known. Okay um, We've got the judgment card and people card and people coming out as if Somebody's blowing the horn on something that now other people know or will know or do know About something and somebody's been in their head in their bed Okay, and uh, this tender loving care energy would be rich and generous, would be forgiving uh, inside and out. Um, the 20th card here, the 20th letter of the Hebraic language is the resh, the head, the man, the boss, the chief. So we are dealing with, let's go back to FBI energies and law 
and then it really is showing up here and somebody may be really in their head about something's been going on for a long time it's time to blow the trumpet on a situation here and uh, even out the scales okay whatever that is um center loving care energy is here to help this head okay um, nine is also a global awareness number okay and somebody's got sharp pain something sharp's taking place within situations maybe with you know this is death energy secret money secret sex secret property secret babies okay um things like that but there's something very profitable here within this energy what is hidden divine what is hidden in this uh energy that's coming out here what is hidden this freedom, though, coming out, this is something um, that's going to free somebody from this in your head, in your bed kind of stuff. The anxiety that's taking place. It's also showing somebody giving birth as well. Like I said, somebody, congratulations, literally showing that to me here. Something you're, it's time to give birth to something. We've got the Empress who's a mama. Okay. Uh, and then you got somebody laboring here. And now the door of the womb is open. And we got, you know, things coming out the box. Okay. And uh, the womb itself. So uh, it's definitely showing that. So that's this beautiful, whatever that is. If it's an energetic project or a literal baby or children or something like that, then that's what it's showing. Um, definitely. Congratulations to you. Finally get to the end of something. Um, what's hidden here? Secrets. Well, we have the other woman showing up here and we also have somebody who's really going if you're if there's if you're not dealing with other people involved in something uh you're dealing with somebody's literally flipped upside down trying to look at every angle that they can high volume uh intuition here huge well we got somebody who's got all four queens within her that type of energy here um this is and then we got the moon energy here. So those of you who are dealing with outside uh, people or you were the other woman or somebody was, uh, it, it, it found out something about a pregnancy or another person involved or some, something was flipped upside down or the sacrificing energy as well. And uh, we know that stuff exists in the earth and that's what it's telling. Uh, we got the house of Jacob here as well. And that goes back to uh, the, the word is the bet, the second letter. The house of Jacob is a heir to a kingdom. The empress would represent, you know, an heir to a kingdom. She would have high volume intuition within her as well. And um, would have to know how to be uh, hidden at times on how to tap into something and be flipped around and to see something from another angle and to hop up off the tree and do something here about a situation what is hidden is the high priestess and the secret some secrets we got law she holds the torah which is the law it's a spiritual law but it also we are showing law itself here so that's positive to have the law from the heaven and the law which is inside of our heart and it you'll know, be right down here in this uh realm as well uh we got prison energy showing this uh, uh hangman can have a um meaning of prison and we definitely see in all kinds of fbi energy we also see the occult out here as well we see a job we see job we see uh, a jet we see i'm so i'm seeking seeing uh somebody who has uh went within to seek information even maybe about secret trips um that have taken place we got it like i said we got a jet here um we have, um, so the bet, if we want to take that for the um, phonics of it, some people have had a bet that's taken place and um, got people turned upside down and played some kind of game for some people. So what's hidden is secrets. Uh, people hanging on secrets as well. Backwards organization is here as well. Show me outcome energy here, please. Bye. Thank you. This was just at the bottom of the day. And so somebody either going to get up and look at the cup, okay, and um, stop pouting at the tree. Somebody need an alignment, okay, and uh, uh, somebody really been going within about something here. This also goes back to a dull relationship. So somebody did step out 
and they blew the horn and came clean about something, but somebody up in their head. Uh, somebody really, you know, what's hidden is somebody really trying to figure out uh, from every angle how to how to how to protect something. Um, this is the Lamed in the Hebrew, the twelfth letter that goes to you know protecting um, energy. This is the shepherd's staff itself, which comes from the true law. You got predators then around. If you've got jail coming out here, who's been bitter and need an alignment and don't want to look at a cup that's straight from heaven, and they're cloudy and they're thinking, okay, and they're dull in what they do. Um, outcome this four cups showing up here so either you, the outcome for some people is taking this cup the outcome for some people is sitting here and pouting and um for some people there's there's jail then here and it's hidden it's coming because some people won't forgive they won't be forgiven they sit there pouting you got x issues also going on somebody's sitting there with their hands crossed what else divine do you want to bring out here we have a lot of water energy here coming out outcome so we got more gel also coming out here and travel as well so we're just picking up the word jet here um we have a j a t a b a y an r an l and a g coming out here um we have another we have a name raj here we have uh, gear and gore and gar. That's a fish, right? And I talked about that. That goes back to fighting energy and war. Um, we got um, something that's been hidden in a bag. Uh, we have some some but some people have been secretly bugged as well, and something also has been bugging somebody for a long time. They're in their head here. Uh, we have a jug here as well. What that means for any given person if I'm bringing this out here. We have a, a, a bell, a ball, go back to children. This energy can go back to children energy. So can this. Okay. Um, we have um, gel itself coming out in the phonics. We have joy though as well. And this is luck. Uh, obviously somebody's been a predator and somebody's had to have the divine protecting situation there's there's joy showing up here so that's positive um, there's also been a lie around a situation as well the word lie is here um, we also have by somebody waving by because some people just sit there they just uh, they've caused a mess and because of their secret stuff that they've done as well and so some gonna be going to jail and, and um, it just is what it is, okay? Uh, we've been following this energy for a while. We have a real liar, and we have a real, okay? We know people have been fishing for people, okay? Um, we have a heart, a love. We have people sacrificing, okay, and doing things from a, a, a not very nice place from above. And we're talking about principalities and powers of the air, and people that are turned around in upside organization and things like that, the dead energy, okay? So they're gonna be blowing a horn on some things. We have the name Roy and Rye and Ray. We have the year. Um, we have your. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we have um, a rag, somebody trying to clean up something, maybe even in secret or did something in secret like that on a trip, long trip, short trip, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, there's obviously been a lot of stuff going on here. Burdens. It's, it's, it's the end of the cycle. The hand of the divine is going to turn something here. And it's going to be truthful. Either way it turns, it's going to be truthful. Because it's a, it's a divine spiritually having a movement of his authority to take uh, power here by his spirit to turn something with his ability and his might. Because something's been literally a burden. Okay? And a lot of people have lost their children and things like that. Let's just take... Um, couple of Hebrew cards show me the um, 
the hidden space divine with this high priestess. And uh, there's definitely a secret sacrificing going on. Um, okay, we have the we have the ninth house actually coming out. I did a reading this morning. This card was coming out. This is to see, uh, to perceive something, the ability to see beyond what is seen in the physical present as a light piercing through the darkness. This is a dark house energy here as well. Uh, this is the gift of vision, okay? Uh, way beyond the normal experiences. We get that download from the divine, okay? By having all four kings and queens within us being an heir to a kingdom energy, the divine bring that through us. Uh, your story is going to be known. What is secret here is somebody's story is probably already being known. That's secret to them, but maybe it's not if they have perception, okay? Uh What's hidden is somebody is going to go to prison and their story will be known what, what has taken place. In a very big, wide, large way down here is the outcome showing this very single thing uh, of, about perception here in this ninth house. That's positive, though, because this is positivity turning something, okay? Ending a, a freaking war that's just been ridiculous, okay? By backwards organization, death and children and everything else, sacrifices and crazy stuff. Just show me the outcome. Divine, give me a card for the outcome, please. Uh, we have a touch here as to strike or to bring a plague from the most high. Okay? Uh, this is uh, energies. If we're talking about death issues, children and sacrificing and secrets and other people and being the other person and uh, things like that they have literally brought a plague upon themselves and others for the innocent blood that has been shed in the earth as well all right we have a uh, great aged people also showing up here both these can go back to well all three of these cards can go back to uh, real mature type energy, right? So older people. Even the um, ninth house goes back to the oldest fire sign, okay? That's what's called a teacher here. We've got uh, benefactors, uh, kindly helpers, uh, charitable institutions, but if they're backwards, uh, some people try to use that kind of stuff uh, to make you think that they are one way and they're not, okay? Uh, given what was coming out here. So, this um, outcome here is okay so we have the husband we have the protection we have the other person we have somebody who has a counterpart we have the head the man the boss the chief and we have somebody here that is protected as well as we got people going to jail this this is they are the one and you are the one whatever that is we do have people also that's uh, going to be getting new jobs and so that's positive this is to take courage and take action Jehovah is with the uh emmanuel elohim with us so this actually this twice then that we get this that it's time to get up and do something today and people do know some things that have taken place give me some more cards here please divine thank you Jehovah says make a move today people this third time so let every, every word be established in two or three ways time to travel forward and try and, and look I don't care what these organizations is trying to protect the divine says I'm with you take action make a move today you have the truth okay you do have the truth blow the hump trump on blow the trumpet on something here and uh, call them out one more please Jehovah thank you Thank you for the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Some were very close. Well, we've got FBI here. We have secret stuff going on here. Just as secret as they are, the divine's got his eye on everything. He's seeing it. He's calling out already. It says, uh, Yehovah Rapha, the, the Lord who heals, keep his ways. That's what it says. And it he can heal anything. If you can see this cup today and get up, he'll give grace. This is literally favor. I'm going to take one more message. Thank you, Yehovah, for your message today. It's time to blow the trumpet. I'm also seeing music here as well. This also goes back to being artistic and things like that. Somebody's been trying to hide somebody's stuff. 
We've been following that for a while. We'll take these two. Okay, I'm going to stick that one too. Um, needing a friend so bad, and it's a truthful one. Uh, somebody's needing a truthful friend. Okay. We also have walk in peace and contact them today. Okay. Uh, stop sitting. So those of you who uh, maybe you work for the law. I don't know. Uh, and you secret. You've been looking at all kinds of different ways around something. Maybe the person that you're looking at is um, involved in some kind of situation that took place around them. Um, whatever this is. <laughs> There's love here. People have got friendships that need to be repaired. They've got families here that needs to be repaired. We got the husband here, energy that needs to be repaired. We've got energies of bosses showing up here, grandparents uh, to end this today something needs to be ended today we're seeing cycle of something today being blown out the water here that needs to be ended today contact whoever today let's get some names out here and if this is a legal case for you all and you are in um law enforcement the advice to get up do it now do it now Empress came out in um, my second reading on my other channel today. It said case closed. Yes, it was time to close some stuff. It's, it, look, the divine's going to make something happen here. Somebody just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there in, this, in stagnant stuff. It's time to blow the hump. Trump, <laughs> the hump. I don't know why I'm saying hump. Maybe somebody's got a hump. I don't know. The Connie is here. We have Diane. We have Hope and Tanya. And Raymond or Ray, we have Ro uh, Miles. I probably should have been seeing that. We have Rodney. We have Jessica and Jesse and or Jesse. Teresa, Amy, Summer, and we're in the summertime. Joey, uh, Clark, Christopher, Christopher Clark. <laughs> Isn't that Superman? Um, uh, Alan, Angela. Uh, Simon, Jill, Alicia, Karen, Philip, Smith, that can also be a last name, um, Rhonda, Sherry, Debbie, Mason, that's also an organization, uh, Chad, Dean, and David is here. I'm also seeing uh, Marcella, uh, Emma, Oh, I don't have two miles in here. I guess I don't get no wonder I keep saying it. There's a double in there. Uh, Brandon. So any connections to any of those names, and you know that the device says it's arrived, it's arriving here. It's time to give birth to some. It's time to blow the trumpet. Okay, somebody right here perceives something way beyond the realm. Of whatever the secrets have been, there's protection showing up here. The divine saying, I'm with you. Make your contact today. If it's love, if it's illegal, whatever it is, uh, go do what you need to do in the thing. Look at the cup, okay? And those who are not going to see the cup, it's time to make your move. It's time to travel and take them into custody and do whatever you got to do. All right? Um, siblings are here. I wish I would have spoken to you when you walked by me. There's somebody is needs to get up then and go contact that person. That, pro that person probably already knows. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, they probably just already know. Especially if, uh, you know, if you have perception, so do they. If, if somebody, if there's love energy, then there's a match here. Okay. Uh, they know how to tap into that just as much as you do. Okay, they could be found here in the same type of energy here. All right, guys, uh, we got um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, Libra as well, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, um, Pisces come out real strong, and um, Sagittarius is also coming out here really strong as well with that coming out twice. Um, 
Yep, I guess I'm done. That's what came out, guys, and then any of those other letters that uh, I brought out here as well. And somebody was lying to themselves also about how they felt. Okay, maybe it was just suppressed, but it's time to really just um, come up higher today and fix a thing and just say, okay, shalom.